Let's check out this 2016 LTV Unity. We did a triple boondocking package on this LTV. That means he has three 320 amp hour Lithionics batteries. We'll turn on his inverter. The batteries are already on. Make sure our house power is on. Now we are not connected to shore power. We're just sitting out here in the sun with a thousand watts of the solar flex, or sorry, the shadow flux solar panels. We're not connected to power. We don't have the generator running. This LTV is going to be able to run all of its options on battery only. How cool is that? So let's come inside. Let's turn on some lights. Shut the door. And we installed the new Atmos. So we're going to turn it on to 65 degrees. Tell me if you hear this air conditioner turn on. There it is. It's on high. I bet that's a lot quieter than your Dometic. So we give you two remotes here. One, because this one has a light on it. So if you're laying in bed, you want to be able to see. But check out this panel here. This is a convenience panel that we install. He's got a power button for each battery. He's got the control panel here for the Xantrex inverter. The 3000 watt inverter and then this is the inverter cutoff switch so instead of every time he wants to turn the inverter off or turn the batteries on and off he doesn't have to go out and get in the bay he can control everything from right here everything is available all the lights refrigerator microwave everything everything is inverted and everything is on shore power We have this panel here, can show you what the amperage is that you're drawing. So we hooked up a shunt to all three of his Lithionics batteries. He's drawing 92 amps. Battery voltage, 13.35. This is the state of charge over the three batteries, 99.5. The reason you're not seeing uh, the solar charge significantly is because, well, the batteries are full. So once the battery drains down a little bit, the solar controllers will kick on. This has two solar controllers because we're running eight shadow flux solar panels on the roof. So there's four solar control or four solar panels going into one 50 amp controller. And we labeled that the front solar. And then on the rear, we have four more panels with another 50 amp controller labeled rear solar. So depending on how you park, if you want to park the cab in the shade, you still have the rear solar kicking. If you want to be out in full sun, obviously you'll have both solar controllers going. Tell me what you think. There's a lot of uh, talk when people are thinking about upgrading to a newer LTV. We have taken this LTV and made it pretty much more capable than you can go buy a new LTV for. So whether you're going to buy a new LTV or you want to upgrade your existing LTV, we can make your, you know, nicer condition, older model LTV more capable than what is even rolling out right now. What I'm showing you right here, this is the furnace thermostat so the furnace uh, the propane furnace is still intact so if uh, the heat pump works to about 23 degrees uh, if you're going to be in colder weather than that and you want to be able to use the furnace you can uh, still use the furnace if you're interested in any of these modifications I'm going to leave a link in the description 
uh, of all the stuff that we did to this LTV and how to get a hold of us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so that whenever we put a new video out for any upgrades, you will get a notification.